Greetings and salutations, my fellow caffeine addicts. It is I, Eric J. Chucky, joined, as always, by the boy. Hey! This is the Two Nerds Podcast, and today, we're looking at Reddit. Yep. Uh, we have a few ideas on docket, but they're all stuff that takes research and or time, and we didn't have any of that this week, so we're looking at Ask Reddit. Uh... We're doing you one step better than a lot of the lot of the YouTube channels that do this. We are literally actually going to read the questions instead of having Microsoft Sam do it. So be thankful for that. <laughs> I have to go back to Reddit now. Yep. Okay. Um, oh, here's a great question. Hold on. How would you feel if about a if you accidentally scroll to the top, you can't go back to where you were button for Reddit? No, no, we don't have Microsoft Sam. Oh, 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 oh. Jeez, I thought you were making demands of me. Uh, or it was a stupid bit. Vote it, now in the comments. <laughs> uh, press like button for it was a stupid bit, and like button for he thought I was making demands uh, of him. Hit subscribe if you thought I was, I, I thought he was serious, and um, donate to my Patreon if you have $5. I don't know. Speaking of which, Rob, let's give that shout Rob out to is Rob. good. Rob is good, yeah. All right, carrying on. Uh, honestly, uh, it's it's like a dumb question with a quick answer, but I would love that. Well, I, I have two feelings about that. Why don't you Why don't you go first? Uh, so it depends on where the button is, because that's just a that's just a, I'm done with this. Accidentally press the button to go back into the depths of hell from whence I came. Sure, option. I don't ever hit the top button to go. I'm done with this. If I'm doom scrolling Reddit, I'm doing it until uh, either I accidentally hit go back to top and I go, well, guess I'm done with that, or <laughs> until nothing loads anymore. So you, for you, this is this takes away your natural. Uh, you just scroll until you accidentally do this, and being able to go back would cause you to redo, resume doom scrolling. I mean, yeah, but like also, sometimes I'm I'm not actually done with Reddit. Very rarely. Like, I, I've, I've sometimes only just it gotten is, started. Sometimes it is, oh, man. And you are in, like, a 19-second scrolling hole mm -hmm. if you just do nothing but the scroll on mobile where you flick it, like, and it just well, and you goes. Can't, you can't do that because other stuff gets upvoted in the meantime, and it auto-updates the Reddit page. So I'm like, wait, what the fuck is this topic? I don't remember. That topic I was reading is way up here now. <laughs> it's very popular. I helped contribute to that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 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 high school me also feels that pain. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a good option if the button's in a place where I'm not going to also hit it accidentally. Generally, though, I just... Like, I almost want to find if it exists in the options, because it exists for Tumblr, so I have to assume it exists for Reddit, because, Lord, if there's a feature Tumblr has that Reddit doesn't in 2020, that's real sad. I kind of wish it had the option to be pages instead of infinite That'd scroll. be nice. Well, I mean, then I would lose my, uh, you know, nothing is loading anymore. I guess I should stop redditing. But at the same time, you know. Well, it's just that, like, I have kind of an older phone. And I don't want to replace it because I like my phone. Um, and it has all my CDs. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> but... Um, if I'm too deep into the Affinis scrolling hole, my battery, because my phone tries to keep all of that loaded, my battery starts to drain fast. <laughs> so yeah, Reddit I, murders my battery. Well, it used to. Now I have a newer phone with a better battery. So, like, I'd, I'd like an option to, to go to pages more than that. But, I mean, it's not bad, sure. Cool. All right, next question. Next question. What if Earth is like one of those uncontacted tribes in South America. Like, the whole galaxy knows we're here, but they've agreed not to contact us until we figure it out for ourselves. I mean, that's a pretty standard premise in, in like, most sci-fi. Yeah, I believe that was Mass Effect's thing. Yeah, it's it's also, like... Uh, it's it's an actual premise for why we haven't been contacted for by alien life. There could be many reasons. Either it's, like, we're, like, those uncontacted tribes, or... I have always found the dark forest hypothesis more intriguing, mm -hmm. which is we haven't been contacted by anything because everything smart enough to contact us knows there's something else listening and they don't want to they don't want to let on that we're here. That's a much cooler premise for like, you know, a sci-fi novel, but 
I, that's perfectly reasonable, and honestly, good for them. We suck. <laughs> I concur. Um, people of Reddit, how would you feel if there was a USA filter where non-Americans can scroll through Reddit freely without watching, hearing, or reading what's going on in America? Uh, absolutely 100% agreed. One caveat, I want to also be able to do that. I don't want that to be a feature only in non-USA Reddit. I want to do that. Since we're talking about Reddit features, um, and I agree with this. I actually upvoted this post when I saw it. Uh, because, like, and there's nothing more annoying than trying to read an article, and, like, half of the top comments are, Oh, sounds like a problem for fucking Amerifats. And I'm like, yeah, it sure is, buddy, but I want to know details about it, not your cunning opinion. Uh, but I would love to have a feature where I can just hide a Reddit. Like, never show me this fucking Reddit again. I, I think that exists, but I don't know where the hell it I, is. I can't find it myself. If you know how to find that feature, listener, comment below. Let me know. Yeah, like, there's a few Reddits, a few very popular Reddits that I would like to never hear from again. I'm given to understand Poland Ball was funny once, but it hasn't been. I, mm. I'm so tired of that. The fucking the Doge comics. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I'm not even talking about, like, the stuff that's like, mm, I'm actually personally offended. Nah, fuck this dumbass, stupid-ass, fucking Spongebob horror comic, full-page, gotta scroll past it nonsense. Fair. <laughs> uh, we move on. With Christmas, 364 days away, people who already have their decorations up, why? Uh, you want to go first on this one? I only have a snarky answer. Huh. My answer is because lights are pretty. Fuck you. <laughs> I actually didn't get my quote-unquote Christmas lights up, which I've had for a year, mind you. Uh, they were part of a an agreement between the boy and I in, in buying Red Dead Redemption 2. Mm -hmm. um, I only got them up, like, really close, like, the week of Christmas. And then I put up an extra strand, uh, an extra two strands. Like yesterday? yesterday yeah. Literally, yeah. <laughs> Uh, lights are pretty. Why does Christmas get to own cool lights on my house? Here's a hint. It doesn't. I'm gonna have those bitches up until they, until, like, a cop comes by and tells me I gotta put them down. Cops don't usually give a shit. It depends on, like, what kind of neighborhood you live in. Like, rich-ass white people live in, like, a place where they gotta be like, Oh, you have to have, only Christmas time can you have this, and your flamingos have to be at least two feet high, but no more than 2.5. Fuck, fuck homeowners associations. That's a Reddit I'm for. <laughs> Is that r slash fuck homeowners associations? r slash fuck HOA, I believe, is specifically... Fantastic. Uh, let's see here. Um, yeah, I, I like this one. What subtle red flags at a job interview say, working here would suck? Um, subtle? Subtle. Like, not the obvious ones. Not the look, not that you walk in, you see an employee, and they look at you, and their eyes are empty sockets, and they open their mouth, and it's just an endless scream. I'm talking, like, the subtle ones. <laughs> I think, because I, I work in a fucking trench, uh, the most subtle one I can muster up is somebody who doesn't respond well when they're asked, why do you want to work here? And I respond with, uh, I need a job, man. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. I, this place seems as good as any. <laughs> if they give me the mm, face, then I'm like, oh, you're going to be that kind of boss. All right. I'm out. Bye. We're going to have some fun. <laughs> uh, for me, it's either... Well, I mean, all right. So there's one that is not subtle, really, if you know what the term means. But... If they mention that they don't, that they don't prioritize work-life balance, I don't want to work there. <laughs> I've had a job that does that. It's awful. Let's see here. What was the highest waste of money that you don't regret? Every Disney trip. Yes, absolutely, hundred percent. We were in uh, we were in credit card debt for that last one for a while, uh, and the the others even were still huge wastes of money. Thousands of dollars vanished in a week. Not a single fucking regret. They were the they were fun times. They were actually like legitimately sabotaged by other outside factors. 
whether it was suddenly I'm lactose intolerant or people we went with were being shitty or whatever, or Bette Midler. Uh, Fucking fuck you, Bette Midler. <laughs> or Bette Midler sound alike, almost certainly. Bette Midler sound alike. If it was actually Bette Midler, I'm sure it would have been just fine. But anyway, um, still, fantastic time. <laughs> would, would go again. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, would absolutely go again. It's just very expensive. Um, and also, the world is on fire. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. You asking some um, personal questions this month, Reddit. Yeah, they've been. We scroll past all the ones that are bummers. Uh, this one's a bummer, but I do want to say it. Uh, I don't think this is true. It's just I only recently found out this is a thing, and I need to get my opinion out there on the internet because I, I want all the people to know who believe this is a thing. Uh, the question was, what is the worst thing that is legal? Now, I don't know that this is the worst thing that is legal, but it gives me an opportunity to mention in public where everyone can hear, if you debark your dog, never talk to me and certainly don't tell me when I'm physically in your presence. That's a really, really bad call. I'm not as aggro as he is about it. But yeah, <laughs> the debarking dogs, declawing cats, that's not cool. If you uh, would like to have a, a pet friend that is... Uh, you know, not going to scratch your furniture or make a lot of noise, might I recommend a rabbit or a guinea pig that you keep in a fucking cage? Actually, guinea pigs are a little noisy. Um, if or don't want, get a pet. If you want a quiet pet, get a fish. Fish sure, too much effort. Fish. Get a moss ball. It's a ball of moss. You put it where there's sunlight, and occasionally you take it out of its moss ball tank and squeeze it. That's it. And it's alive, and it counts as a pet. Oh, that doesn't sound like a fun pet. I'm sorry. Animals are effort. Get your shit out of, get your head out of your ass. <laughs> yeah, all of those things. Uh man, one I saw that I don't think was answered very positively. Um uh, extroverts who ask the others, why are you so quiet? And you know, variations thereof. What kind of response are you looking for? No one actually really answered that I could find, and I scrolled for a while. It was mostly, like, commiseration, and then a couple of people going, I try not to do that, even though I'm an extrovert. So, like, I didn't get a response, but that's a great question. Uh, I, I have hypothesis about what they might be asking for. What they might be asking for is be an extrovert, right. but they don't want to ask it that way. <laughs> I need everyone to like me, and you're not currently talking to me, and that makes me sad on the inside in a way I cannot process, so talk to me. No. Go away. Eat shit and get fucked. Um, let's see here. What weird thing would you make socially acceptable if you could? I'm really fucking tired of um, other people giving a shit about how other people are dressed. So long as those people are not dressed gross. I think in a blanket, personal choice stuff like that, whether it's your hair color or your clothing style or whatever deeper and more socio-political terminology we could get into, what if everybody else just calmed the fuck down about what anyone else is doing so long as it's not hurting somebody? Like... Like, don't put your bare asshole on a bus seat, but at sure. the same time, at the same time, so long as all your gross bits are covered, why, why does anyone have to give a shit? Why is it, not only why do other people give a shit how I dress, why am I socially expected to give a shit how other people dress? Because I don't. <laughs> there was a time when I was the kind of person who frequented people at Walmart.com, and now I don't. Um, because you know what, I don't know what the fucking people are going through. Oh, look, man, I've gone... I don't go to Walmart because the inside of that store uh, is filled with rage juice, near as I can tell. It makes me physically angry to be inside a Walmart. I can't explain why. I've never worked there. I don't have any trauma about it. it just does. Being inside a Walmart makes me angry, so I don't go. Um, Meyer, basically the same exact store. So works great. I go to Meyer. I've gone to Meyer in some very janky outfits. If there's a people of Meyer.com, I might be on it. I don't care. And I don't know why you do. I, like, you know, I mean, I could speculate that a number of things, but it all ends up being either I need to feel superior to someone or I'm not allowed. You shouldn't be allowed. Here's the, here's the secret. You are. 
and I would like it very much if everyone else could agree on that. If you wanted to wear an outfit that's all thongs, whatever interpretation of that you want to come up with, okay. I see just flip-flops head to toe, yeah, welded it. together into a suit of sure. armor. <laughs> if I don't like it, I can, I can look in another direction. You know what I don't like? Children. You know what I do? Look away. They're gross, and they're sticky, and they look at you. And I don't care for them. <laughs> so I don't look at them. Just fucking, you just fucking summoned a John Mulaney bit. <laughs> they're gross, and they're sticky, and they look at you, and I don't care for that shit at all. <laughs> you know what I do love? Cocaine. <laughs> no, he's in treatment for that. Yeah, Be nice. Yeah, yeah. He does, though. He does. <laughs> Uh, <sighs> and you know what? I actually don't care. Because he's doing it in the privacy of his own home, and he's probably not hurting anybody. Unless and he he's is. rich. He can afford coke. Good for him. Oh, well, yeah. Jesus. Coke's expensive. I'd, I'd buy all kinds of stuff if I was rich. Probably not cocaine. Maybe just to have some. Maybe just like, that's my cocaine. No, not to do, but yeah. just like... Just like, yeah, that... People are like, oh, this is a really pretty vial full of white sand. I'm like, oh, it's not sand. <laughs> Fun. That's uh, that's you know, sweet lady com cocaine. Common misconception. That's in case Snowflame ever shows up. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, I like this one. I like this one a lot. Okay. Uh, how much time needs to pass before it becomes archaeology instead of grave robbing? Um, that's. <sighs> well, I don't think it's time based. I think it's permit based. Ah, so it's archaeology so long as you can get someone in charge to declare it archaeology. Oh, yeah, or, you know, like, because like, they dig people up for, like, crimes and stuff all the time. They're like, yeah, but oh, that's how did not, this guy die? That's not archaeology. Like, well, yeah, but just to look at his <laughs> shit. That's just authorized grave robbing. Right, but, like, uh, I guess it's the it's the lack of a flag. So, like... And like, yeah, I think, I think that's a good... It's not time-based. It's, is the society you are grave robbing still extant and mad about it? Yeah. If no, then it's archaeology now, Susan. <laughs> if yes, that's grave robbing. You there's there's actually an interesting uh, precedent for this in our own country of America, um, where uh, if, if you guys go to Justin Wang on YouTube, as I've been watching a lot of his shit lately, um, somebody on Tumblr was... Uh, Picking up bones in a shitty poor people graveyard that they just sort of popped up out of there because it's a shitty graveyard. Because, you know. And selling them on the internet. Oh. What a. What a. What a nice. What an unnice thing to do. It's. Uh, mean. It's, it's a complicated. It's complicated. Well, that's the thing. Is that's the reason? Is is it the is the society that you are stealing bones from still extant and mad about it? Is because. What if that's someone's papa? You're stealing his femur. Sure. That's what they could be upset. That's you don't need to do that. Well, it's, it's great because the lack of legal precedent on a lot of that shit left the authorities going. I don't think you should be able to do that. Uh, hold we on. We can't prove it's against the rules, we'll, though. We'll figure something out. We're gonna I'll be make right some back. new rules. I'll be right back. <laughs> Which is always interesting. Uh, I would recommend searching that video down. Tumblr bone witch or some shit. I don't know. Um, what else do we have here? We never worked for a dating company, so that's not good. You fuck twenty twenty, sure, well, that's fine. I mean, I co-signed the sentiment, but it's not really much. It was swings and roundabouts. Yeah, I mean, it's not. It's, it's just a year's over. Move. Well, let's go on. Yeah. Well, I mean, they they posted that, you know. Oh, like yeah, as the a first of the month. Yeah. 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 You know what? Fair enough. Uh, this one's a good one to pass time for a second. Um, literally. Uh, I don't, you've watched enough of this show to get this joke. You own a cabbage cart, but your produce is destroyed periodically by a group of famous 12-year-olds. What do you do? I guess I shout my cabbages. I, I go into a different line of work. <laughs> like third cart that, that's destroyed. Congratulations, I own, like, a papaya cart now. At the very least, that ought, that gives the animators some, like, variety. <laughs> Maybe I would get into a more durable, uh, you know... A coconut cart. Business. Yeah, co well, eh. But, yeah. There you go. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> People who don't click the tongs before using them, how? Great question. <laughs> That's... 
Not why. How? How is an excellent, <laughs> an excellent question. Uh, you gotta do the test clicks, man. You gotta, you gotta make sure the tongs are tongs. I'm just having fun. That's all. It's 110. <laughs> percent You're just like, yeah, clack, 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 clack. clack. Uh, let's see here. What is the most useless fucking thing they teach in school? This being the American education system, we are from America. Um, God, my that is it's a hard. I, I think this one. Sixteen-year-old me just crawled out of my mouth. Can do you want to give him a platform to speak on? Oh, absolutely, sir. The Pledge of Allegiance. I mean, it literally serves no function. Well, it's indoctrination. It's not even like very good indoctrination, but it is indoctrination. Do you know originally the salute for it was the same salute of the National Socialist German Workers Party, and then they decided to change it for PR reasons? <laughs> America. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, learning anything is not useless. Some stuff is maybe more useful than others, but... I can't think of an ounce of knowledge I have gained, even knowledge I would have rather not had, that isn't useful. Oh, I can think of a lot of useless shit I know. Nah. Useless by whose calculations? The yoke of capitalism? Fuck that. <laughs> it, it is in that it is useful and that it increased my life's joy, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. What, what are you really here to live to work? No. You're here to live to laugh, to love, to <laughs> buy signs that suggest exactly that. And hang them in your bathroom. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um... That's a sad question. Uh, what should society stop making people feel insecure about? I think we answered that one earlier. Yeah, just stop. Everything. Let just people, fucking stop. People Let exist. People live. Fuck off. Um, what is cheaply made but sold at a ridiculous price? Um, soda. Especially fountain soda. I, yeah. Like, it. I know how much fountain soda costs. It's literal pennies for, like, if you're getting a large soda at a restaurant, that costs them, like, pennies. Just literally pennies. It is not expensive. If they're charging you more than $3 for it, that is a thousands percent markup. It's, but I get it. It's where they make their margin. Sure. No, <laughs> I mean, capitalism. Yeah. Um, let's see here. What's something that's romantic in movies, but creepy in real life? Most things. Yeah, romance movies are fucking insane. Uh, it's one of the reasons that I, for a long time, I said I just didn't like the genre. I don't think that's true. I think that I don't didn't, for most of my life, until I was late 20s, maybe early 30s, I didn't understand the tropes of the genre, because... And so I was viewing them as someone who didn't understand the tropes of the genre and was baffled that all of these movies were about these goddamn psychopaths. All of the people in, in romantic movies and romantic comedies, especially, are unstable people who you should not be in a relationship with. Well, I mean, it's that's, that's the genesis of the pushback against Twilight. Like, it's not for... We know that's not good. Well, okay, so supposedly you're supposed to know that's not good. I don't think people do a very good job of letting people know that, especially young people, but moving on from that point. We know that's not good. It's just kind of like a fantasy. Like, you know, when your stepsister gets stuck in a dryer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of the people who are into that shit are like, I want to do that. Yeah, it's, that's a couple of things that's not great, but also, I mean, I will watch a video about it. <laughs> What historical fact makes you cry? I like that I was so right you just moved the fuck along. Uh, there's, there's nothing to add. <laughs> uh, for me, it's, it's the burning of the Library of, of Alexandria. Still gets you right here. What historical fact makes me cry? Um, dodos are gone. Yeah, they And were that's cool. just an animal we know about. <laughs> Ooh, that's fair. Yeah, like all the animals I'm never going to get to pet or respectfully look at from afar, being glad that they're about their business. I bought peanut butter yoohoo in boxes, um, chocolate peanut butter, uh, because I'm the kind of person who sees an item on the shelf and goes, that will probably taste horrible. I'd better get it just in case I never have the opportunity to taste it again. <laughs> and I feel that way about both eating 
and, you know, delightfully interacting with the creatures that used to occupy this earth. I ain't never going to get to pet a fucking Archaeopteryx or watch it soar majestically through the skies. That is sad. Most especially because Michael Crichton wrote a book and then it became a movie and that set a precedent for maybe we shouldn't do this in science. Well, like, to be fair... It'd be a pretty good way to go out. I agree. (laughs) You know what? Of all the ways I could die, all the sad, banal ways I could die, bitten in half by a literal T-Rex is pretty high up there. Uh, Although I really wouldn't want to go out like Nedry. No, well, he was a dick, though. Getting getting fucking clowned on by the little fucking umbrella dinosaurs. Like, I don't not, know, man. <laughs> not how I want to go. When I'm fat and I got glasses, I feel like I'm a Nedry. <laughs> why, why, why you got to hassle him, though? I think you would give him respect. Well, I mean, look, anything that's that I'm going to give respect to. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you got claws and teeth and shit. I'm yeah, gonna, even if it didn't spit stuff. I'm going to leave you alone, homie. You, you go your way, I go mine. Um... Lord of the Rings is PG-13, which means it's allowed one F-bomb. Where do you put it? Gandalf. I don't care. Just any, just any, 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 like, does it even have to be, like, one of his famous lines? No, doesn't have to be. Uh, for me, for me, I know, like, the, the like, the, 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 the answer that's right there is, like, you shall not fucking pass. Ah, uh, that's too, like... Lord of the Rings is already awesome. It doesn't need any more awesome. No, I, think we could I honestly think I'd put it in. I have no memory of this place. Or, uh, or just like an incidental one, like when he's smoking pipe weed in the beginning of the fellowship. Like, like have it fall out of the pipe and he goes, fuck. And that's it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I love how in the Pirates and the Marvel movies, there's like quiet background characters or even foreground characters who are just being really quiet and it's covered up by the noise who are constantly going, fuck, shit, fuck. <laughs> it's great. Get, just give Gandalf one of those. Oh fuck. <laughs> uh, God, uh, I don't have time in the day for that. Um, I'm gonna say this question so that we can both vetch about its existence. Uh, what's the stupidest thing someone has said to you with confidence? I don't keep those things in my head. I can't. I can't live. With all of the dumb fucking things people have said to me in my life, I have to let them go. Yeah, pretty much. Otherwise, they drive me insane like that fucking Lewis Black if it weren't for my horse skit. I would I would go nuts. But that is a really good question. I bet you the responses are fire. I, I have to imagine. Um, I probably looked through the thread, actually. If that sounds familiar. But I don't think anything was good enough to commit to memory, ironically. Uh, I, I have a lot of people say really stupid things to me in confidence. And it's more like, it's not like the, the, the first salvo that ever gets me. It's when they triple down. Yeah, like when you go, that's, and then they double, and then you go, wait, and then they triple down. Because I, I try to be patient as a person. I'm not argumentative. Um, I am. Unless I'm doing a bit, or I just happen to be full of cocaine, uh, which is why I need more for my little vial. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I, I've never done cocaine. This is a meme. He does not do yeah, cocaine. I, I'm not a Please drug Please leave person. us alone, government. <laughs> Can you imagine if we were the one person? Like, all these rappers and, and rock stars and TV people. Uh, just fucking... FBI, open up! Guy comes coming in through our ceiling. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't... I'm not argumentative. I'm, I, I'd rather... Talk to somebody or let them commit to their stupid fucking opinion that they have obviously considered so precious. For the large majority of my uh, teenage years and adult life, I actually would seek out the opinions of stupid people. Like, just, just, and smart people, just everyone. I wanted to know what all sides of all issues thought about those things, thought about all issues, because I, I just, I needed to have all the knowledge. I don't do that anymore. Because it made me very sad. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Um, ah, what's What are some fun or interesting uh, Christmas traditions you follow? Um, I don't... 
What a weird question for you to ask me, man who lives in my house. Well, I'm asking you if you can answer it for these people. No, no. I mean, like, I don't really have any. Ah, uh, you, you exchange the presents. You know you what? You put up Actually, the lights. No, I, I, think, I think I know what you're referring to. Specifically? Yes. Uh, what a question to go out on. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you the brief story of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes! I beamed it into your brain, I, and you knew! <laughs> I cannot name to you all of the major players, but uh, recently our family went through a shuffle. Uh, if, if you notice which podcasts are missing from our podcast feed, you might be able to figure out what happened. But, uh, so, you know, it's time to do some new things. It's time to do some new traditions. And all the new people and the old people that were still around were at my mom's house. And we were discussing what we should have for Christmas dinner. And (laughs) one of the new people, uh, my sister's boyfriend, um, I don't remember if we jokingly suggested it and he agreed to it. Or he suggested it not having the full scope of what was going on. Or, like the expert troll he is, he just sort of slid into our DMs and was like, What about this? But uh, chili cheese fries, um, which we later turned into chili cheese tater tots. Because was, tater tots are delicious. Uh, was the suggestion. And my mom vehemently denied us these chili cheese tots. Because it was it was to be, like, we were going to do a Christmas get-together. Don't worry, this was a few years ago. And <laughs> we wanted to know sort of... Uh, you know, what, what should, she wanted to know what she should make. Cause she's the, she's like Monica. She is the hostess. She likes to host people and likes to, you know, cook things for them and have a party. And we, it, it, I, it, I believe it was your, your sister's boyfriend who originally suggested it. And then it became like a, like an immediate yes all around the table. Everyone <laughs> was in favor of chili cheese fries quickly becoming chili cheese, uh, tater tots. And uh, she was very, she was very, uh, no, this will not be a Christmas dinner. Could we maybe do that sometime? That sounds great, you guys. Like, very permissive. That's a great idea. What about for Christmas, though? (laughs) We were all pretty hungry at the time. Uh, And, like, you know, she was expecting, like, ham or turkey or something very traditional. Uh, Needless to say, for the last couple of years, we have enjoyed chili cheese tater tots. On Christmas Day, um, uh, I believe the phrase that 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 absolutely sank any chance of it not being that was on the same day. I don't remember who initially said it. It was either you or or that same expert troll. <laughs> completely straight face went. I mean, come on, Jesus is the reason for the season, and it was destructive on a level <laughs> that is powerful. It can't cannot be overstated. So yes, chili cheese tater tots for Christmas dinner. Delicious. Even even six feet apart with masks on. It it is it is tradition. Uh that's about it. Like everything else we do with Christmas is either no longer a tradition because of what I mentioned earlier, or it's just really typical stuff like, ah, you know, my family likes to watch a Christmas story, which we don't even fucking do that anymore. But nope. you know, I, I, uh, I guess, well, no, we have a New Year's tradition. And if you guys watch the other episodes of the podcast, the, the movie uh, in review thing, the year movie, what do I fucking call those? Movie, movie homework. homework. <laughs> we figured it out together. You didn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> they can't see that. I thought it was going to make a noise. Anyway. <laughs> please say the thing that ends the podcast. Everything's better when nerds talk about it.